Now, we do know tonight whistleblowers have come forward to Missouri Senator Josh Hawley with very serious allegations, including that the rally was classified as only a loose security event and many people protecting Trump were not even Secret Service agents at all. We need answers to that and a lot of other questions. Senator Josh Hawley, he actually traveled to Butler, Pennsylvania. He met with local officials to see firsthand the building and the, the sniper, the one they scaled, trying to assassinate President Trump. Uh, Senator Hawley joins us now. Senator, my understanding is it hardly was a pitch roof. I could look at it and tell you as a guy that fell off a roof three stories, it's not a pitch roof, um, number one. Number two, if they knew it was a threat and they didn't want their agents on it, I could live with that. Why weren't there sniper eyes on, sniper eyes on it? Why weren't there agents surrounding the perimeter? Why did they keep telling us it's outside the perimeter? 130 yards is not outside the perimeter. The perimeter would be defined as any distance that any harm can be brought to a primary, uh, in this case, Donald Trump, that you're protecting. So, and why are they blaming local law enforcement? That's not their job. Well, I can tell you, Sean, I saw it today ahead of the Senate committee hearings on this. I went to go see myself. I went to the grounds. I went to the site because, frankly, I don't trust the FBI and the Secret Service to give us the real story. I want to see it myself. And you are right. That roof, it's hardly pitched at all. It's at a slight, slight slant. And I'll tell you this, Sean, I couldn't believe how close it is to where Trump was. I stood right where Trump stood, looked over at that building. I mean, it is 100, 150 yards max. It is a clear line of sight from where President Trump was to that building. And the whistleblower, Sean, what they have told me is unbelievable. It's that they were not patrolling the perimeter with canines as they were supposed to do. They were not patrolling the crowd. They weren't adequately keeping the area around the stage safe. And of course, we know that they didn't have eyes on that roof and that building. It's unbelievable. It really is. Tell us what these whistleblowers are telling you uh, that is most alarming to you. Well, one thing is, that most of the detail assigned to Trump that day into that rally were not Secret Service, that most of them were from other federal agencies, including Homeland Security. And Sean, they weren't prepared. They didn't know what the procedures were. They did not have the site locked down. They were not adequately patrolling the perimeter. As you just said a moment ago, they were leaving huge gaps. Whistleblowers also tell us that they were allowing people to come into the grounds who weren't checked. They weren't monitoring who was getting up around the stage. I mean, it's unbelievable, Sean. And having been there today myself, I can tell you, it is so close. That building where the shooter fired from is so close to where Trump was. The idea that you could have all of this time elapse and nobody notices, no law enforcement notices he's on the roof. One other thing, Sean, whistleblowers tell me that law enforcement were actually on different channels, different radio communication channels. There were multiple different channels and they weren't coordinated. Sean, it's a, it's a total disaster. But, Somebody but needs to knew, resign for this. But, uh, well, the Secret Service director needs to be fired. They, they, but they knew there That's was right. a suspect. You know, the guy had a rangefinder for crying out loud. Who, who carries around a rangefinder with them? Uh, how stupid is this director? Well, we didn't want to put the the officers at risk, so we put them inside the building, but not outside the perimeter of the building to make sure nobody got on top of the roof of the building. And why you're telling me that it was mostly not Secret Service? And why are they blaming again local police? That's not their job. It's the job of the Secret Service. They don't have enough resources. Well, maybe we could take some money back from Ukraine and apply it to the Secret Service and protect every elected official. And I tell you what, Sean, what local authorities told me here today, I talked to local law enforcement, and what they told me is they are angry that they're getting unfairly blamed. What they told me is, well, listen, we did our job. We did what we were asked to do. The Secret Service wasn't prepared. They didn't give him clear instructions. Locals are saying, don't, don't roll this over onto us. You should take some responsibility, Secret Service. And they should. And your point about Ukraine is right. We can spend how many billions on Ukraine, but we can't protect an American president? I mean, what's going on around here? We've got to get the facts, Sean. And I tell you what, I won't rest until we get them. No, I, I mean, I appreciate all that. By the way, where are you, fellow Democrats? Their silence is deafening to me. Why aren't they more outraged over this? 
I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't get it at all. But I tell you one thing. Today, Sean, when I went to the site, the FBI has got more security on that site now than they did the night that Trump was late. shot at. I mean, the FBI, t totally late. And they're trying to control the information. Sean, they tried to kick me off of the site. They said, get out of here. You shouldn't be on the site. We don't want you here. Get out of here. They are trying to control get the information. Absolutely. They brought, they brought local cops, Sean. Get this. I'm there on site. I had permission from the local uh, security operator to be there. And they, the FBI came out and said, you have got to leave. We do not want you here. That's what they're trying to do. From they're the trying FBI to control director. I want to hear from the Absolutely. Secret Service director. I want to hear from Mayorkas, Department of Homeland Security secretary. I want to hear from other Democrats. I don't want any politician to get shot like this. And I don't care if you're a Republican, a Democrat, liberal, conservative. It is meaningless. Protect elected officials. Senator, great job. I can't believe they tried to kick you off. Uh, pretty unbelievable.